Evil is old as time, spreading like a plague. Or around this time, Christmas cheer. For millennia, there have been those who stood against it. A secret organization out to protect mankind. They are the Dark Watch. Developed by High Moon Studios and published by Capcom. It's a game about a cowboy vampire. That's all I gotta say. Let's talk about it. You are Jericho Cross. I am Jericho Cross. Gunslinger, renegade, outlaw. Behind me is a bloody trail of robbery and revenge. Ahead of me, one last train to rob. A train that happens to belong to the Dark Watch. And rumor has it, they're transporting something way more valuable than gold. And I want it. Only problem is, evil's already boarded the train to take it for themselves. Now, although my trusty revolver was singing a marvelous tune, I still needed to find something a lot stronger to stay alive. Oh look, something stronger. The Dark Watch's very own 18-shot revolver. Impressive engineering done by their weaponsmith. Anyways, after clearing out the train, I went on forward to the vault, where I noticed I'm built like a skinwalker. So I laid on a bundle of dynamite and get ambushed. Hold it right there. You got no clue what you're into. There's no gold in that vault. Oh, I believe you. But my Tommy gun don't. Hell with it. No! My god, she was right. It's Lazarus, the vampire lord, using his powers to spread evil like garlic butter on Texas toast. <laughs> Worst of all, he attacks me. You're bleeding pretty bad. Those blood clouds will heal you. And even though my soul is slowly slipping away, I now have a blood shield that recharges in the darkness. New powers to be determined. The war is over! Now, with all hell breaking loose atop the Dark Watch train, me and the mystery lady, who I just learned is Cassidy Sharp, My friends call me Cassidy Sharp. Team up to fight the malefactor and his ghostly goons. <laughs> too strong, but we hold him off, for now. <laughs> but time's a ticking, and my soul's a slipping. We must saddle up and get to the Dark Watch outpost ASAP, because I'm already eating my horse, although he's much stronger now. If we can get to the Dark Watch outpost, we can get some help. And let me tell you, I felt like John Wick out there, shooting down horses like they had just broken a leg. And that's sad, because I think that's a real thing. Yes. Then Lazarus flies in. He must have been drinking a Red Bull. Great balls of fire he was hurling our way, but our gunfire kept him at bay. I cannot kill you. Not yet. He did say, and through a dark mystical box, he escaped. So many questions I had, but answers I did not. Now that he's out of our way, we must reach the outpost. But getting there involves taking a detour, as we arrive at the cemetery, where we'll be moving on foot. We've got to get you to the Dark Watch before the curse consumes you. I'm told this church has a hidden passageway to the Dark Watch outpost. The only problem is, Lazarus' curse locked the entrance. So like an urn of Grandma's ashes, we gotta break it, by destroying marks of evil that emerge from the ground like a fresh carrot. They also spawn endless bad guys who are looking to chop me like chopped cheese. <laughs> We get the door open, but Cassidy says it's too dark down there for her, which is pretty ironic. So it looks like I'm going stag. There's bound to be ghosts galore down here in the catacombs, so I'm very thankful for my newly found shotgun. Hey! Things remain quite standard until we reach the big burial chamber, where the banshees make their first appearance. They fly high, but so can I. Once that evil's cleansed, we can advance to the cemetery, where skeletons rush me like I'm late for school. But I had my pencil. And we're also presented with our first moral choice. Do I purge her poor soul of infection, or do I suck it dry? I took the path of righteousness, and was awarded with a silver bullet power. These fellas had no chance. I was cutting them down like the branches from my neighbor's tree, encroaching into my yard. Hey look, it's my neighbor. Fatality. This thing reminds me of the stories to tell in the dark character, that uh, pale lady thing. 
We then head underground, into the mine. And hey, it's Cassidy, but she's dead, with blood seeping from the stump of her headless neck. I sadly free her soul from the darkness and head on forward, where after activating the pre-placed explosives, <laughs> I enter a chamber with TNT martyr skeletons. They remind me a lot of the skeletons from Sea of Thieves. And if you play that game, you know they're hazardous. I wonder if there was any influence from this game. Comment down below if you're a skeleton. So we continue heaving and hoeing, grinding enemies into a fine dust, when an exit appears before me. Jump in, said the hole. So I did that. Landing in a moist cave, bloodied and beaten. I try to rehydrate, but unfortunately, we're in Flint, Michigan. I'm sorry, vampires can't drink water, they just drink blood. Finished? Then the ghost of Cassidy appears before me, saying you can't stop now, soldier. Lazarus is still out there, and if we don't stop his evil from spreading, you're not gonna like where the world is heading. You see what I'm getting? At follow me, I'll guide you through it all. Then turns into a firework, and I get out of the cave. I emerge into a snowy landscape, right outside the Darkwatch outpost, or at least what's left of it, because it appears Lazarus's minions got here way before I did, and they ransacked the joint. Now I'm surrounded with no way out, besides this ghost door, of course. Cassidy says it's a portal to the Darkwatch Citadel, but I can't go through it yet because there's too much evil afoot, so we gotta cleanse it up. Good. We've done it. Now use the ghost door. It'll take us right to the Dark Watch Citadel. Wait a minute. This is not the Citadel. What the hell is this place? It looks more like a secret underground lab filled with morbid experiments run by a Dark Watch scientist who fell victim to his own creations. So I sent his soul to hell. You have to feed, but you don't have to kill. You pick the dark side. And gain the evil power of Blood Frenzy. And once I was done crushing my opponents like red pepper, I found myself on the other side of the mountain, where I'm gonna have to summon my ghostly steed if I wanna get to the citadel in one piece. The sun's coming up, and if you're caught in the open, it won't be pretty. Stick to these tracks, Cross. They'll lead us to the citadel. Following these train tracks should lead me there, A-OK. -okay. But oh no, we've got company. An evil train is doing everything in its power to take me out. But just like the effort I put into my failing marriage, it wasn't enough. Because the only thing blowing up around here is my neighbor's doghouse that I rigged with C4. So we put down the enemy and giddy on up through the sandy desert and into the Dark Watch Citadel, the promised land, my redemption. But somebody snipes me. It was Dark Watch Brigadier General Clayton Cartwright. Jericho Cross, born 1848, died last night. He's not too happy about me robbing his train and releasing the Son of Satan back into the West. So he's putting me through an unbeatable trial as punishment to see how strong I really am. And oh boy, does he throw the whole kitchen sink at me. But I came to get dirty. And after surviving a simulated Old Western shootout, the general turns on the spotlights for a final cage match, which is a big challenge because we all know vampires can't regenerate in sunlight. Comment down below if you're a skeleton. Sunlight drains your powers, be careful. Now, after seeing how strong, resilient, and irresistible I was in battle, General Cartwright welcomes me into the Dark Watch. Welcome to the Dark Watch, Jericho Cross. So I suit up in my new snazzy gear, and I look cool. I thought it'd be fitting if I also put on a hat. And as a Dark Watch member, my soul's descent is put on hold, so I'm safe for now. Then in comes my new partner, Tala. Giddy up, cowboy. My name's Tala. She was a dame, all right. Mysterious, but in all the right ways. Now that I'm part of Big Pharma, Tala butters me up with some sweet nothings and leads the charge into our first mission. Saddle up, boys. You wanna live forever? Move them out! We were tasked to rescue a Dark Watch platoon that was sent to this area to regulate the evil, but odds are they've all been killed. So it's up to us to clear the entire area of evil and the baddies who worship it. Someone help! But it won't be so simple this time around. There's banditos looking to take my loot. I didn't like their intentions, but I was a big fan of their witch hats. 
Upon destroying the many marks of evil with various weapons, explosives being the most effective strategy, I complete the mission and head back to the Citadel via Green Door, where I get to explore the main headquarters for the first time. Pretty standard compound, nothing I'm not used to. Pleased to meet you, Regulator Cross. And speaking to the doc here, we're presented with a mission board, because before we can take on Lazarus, we need to weaken him by destroying his various marks of evil scattered among us. Maybe the Dark Watch Regulators are still alive. Starting off with a rescue mission, we hop in the experimental Coyote Steam Wagon to rescue our brothers who have recently been ambushed. So I bust into enemy territory with reckless abandon. Getting shot from so many angles, I had to use my protractor just to stay alive. In which I did, long enough to regroup and finish the mission. About time somebody showed up. Didn't save them all, but it's better than nothing. The wagon train got bushwhacked somewhere in this canyon. I was then sent out to do some recovery. You see, Lazarus' minions slaughtered a wagon train transporting the Deadlight Prism, a magic artifact that lets vampires walk around in daylight hours. And as you may have gathered, that's a problem I'll be having through the entire mission. No shields or super jumps as I fight through the dry canyon, deleting waves of undead Apache warriors. Although I can regenerate in the shade, but these opportunities are scarce around these parts. Thanks, bloodsucker, but we had everything under control. Ah! And after locating the prism, this green thing right here, that's the prism, I defended it with my life, holding it down like my neighbor's head in the bathtub. And to keep it real with you, I didn't want to blow things out of proportion. But my dynamite did. Green prism secured. Mission accomplished. Good work. Then finally, a peaceful Indian tribe is under siege by their own ancestors. Ah! risen from the dead by Lazarus's curse. That fellow's a real handful, but this kind of humanitarian work is huge for me because saving others is the only way I can save my own soul while also gaining the trust of my colleagues because I'm still a blood sucking and <laughs> vampire. Just giving it my Sunday best. You saved him. Uh, there's hope for you yet. Boom, we did it. And after a successful campaign of Dark Watch missions, I thought for sure things were on the right track, until I soon realized things just might not be on the right track. Hang on, Cross. We're weeding out some undesirables. Now this is where things get a little shifty. You see, Hangtown has been corrupted by the undead, and Tala's idea of saving the town is to destroy it, which I believe means the Dark Watch will just be killing everyone willy-nilly. From the Hangtown Hotel to the old saloon, it's gonna be a massacre. Not even the church choir boys are safe, although they're probably never safe. No one else needs to know what really happened here tonight. General Cartwright's not gonna like this one bit. Hell, even I'm angry about it. Ah! But Tala says, hey, we're outlaws, baby. It's just what we do. Then we start f***ing. Oh. I want you to suck my blood, she says. <laughs> And now she's a vampire with me. What are her intentions? Hope they're not terrible. Lazarus is attacking the Citadel. Tala must have opened the gates. Well, it appears they are, because I awake amidst chaos, learning that Tala opened the Citadel gates, allowing Lazarus to pop in for a fun-filled visit. And now she's executing the Dark Watch clan members. Stop right there! <laughs> She played me like a fiddle down in Georgia. Now it's up to me, and me only, to put a stop to this mess. Lazarus is after the artifact. Get to the treasury. I'm told Lazarus is headed to the treasury to steal the Deadlight Prism. So I fight through the evil-infested citadel that had so many areas in it, I thought to myself, whoa, this place has a lot of areas in it. I thought my journey would never end, and that's when I found Lazarus himself. <laughs> And oh my god, he's absorbing the Deadlight Prism. Now he's evolving. This was his plan all along. He'll be more powerful than ever. I of course go directly after the Abomination, going 1v1 in the local town. He has the same balls of fire attack, but this time he laughs throughout the whole fight. <laughs> he's summoning more of his undead. Plus, he sends ground infantry to get an upper hand. But I didn't mind it because it allowed me to charge my silver bullet power, which he had no chance of stopping, like the slow drips of water on my neighbor's forehead when he was tied to a chair. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
With Lazarus dead in the dirt, left to rot, I'm now presented with a major choice. Do I break the curse of the West, or become the new Vampire Lord? Becoming a Vampire Lord sounds very cool. You could do it in Skyrim with the, uh, Dawnguard DLC. But I've come too far to side with evil, so I end the curse once and for all. But not so fast, because Tala pops in to absorb the essence for herself, becoming the new Lord. This means Lazarus' plan is still in motion, but there's no time to waste. We must get to the temple before Tala completes the ritual. <laughs> There's our train. It'll take us straight to Deadfall. Only thing about that is, the temple is in the town of Deadfall, and the quickest way there is to board a Dark Watch train. And we all know that can't be easy. Fortunately for me, we've already hijacked some trains a few months ago on this channel, so I had experience on my side. Alright, we took a good ride. Next stop, Deadfall. Now arriving in Deadfall, I witness pure destruction, which is only a little taste of what Lazarus has planned for the West. What are you doing in the- <laughs> The further I advance through this town, the worse it gets. Armageddon is seemingly upon us, and now I have to play the floor as lava if I want to succeed in using my rocket launcher to destroy the marks of evil, which opens up the portal to the temple. <laughs> We did it. The portal to the temple is now open. Something evil on the other side of that portal. And oh boy, was she right. It's Lazarus' evil sanctum, the final step in his plan of reshaping the West. The end of one world and the beginning of another. All that remains is to complete the ceremony. Tala tries turning me one last time, but here, we fight for righteousness. No, he's not like you. He hasn't come this far to throw everything away. Oh my god. Time to die. With Tala in full vampire form, it's gonna be a tough fight, but I have true love and compassion on my side. I just wish I could have stopped her from sacrificing all these ladies. <laughs> Only one more, and the world ends. But like my neighbor escaping from a reinforced crate locked in an undisclosed location, I wasn't gonna let that happen. Is that the best <laughs> We've done it. Lazarus's curse has been broken. The world is saved, and Cassidy's soul is set free. Remember me. And I ride off into the sunset. A good man. At least until the sequel. That never happened. Doctor Octavius, Doctor Otto, Doctor Octavius. Part two, baby. Jericho Cross. His soul is lost. It's slipping away from a problem he caused. When he opened the vault, and out came Lazarus, not from the Bible. Vampire Lazarus, oh Lazarus, he is so hazardous. He's under your mattress. Imagine having this. I'm wearing a hat in this. Where is my cat in this? Oh Lazarus, oh Lazarus. The Tea House. And that's the video. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, why don't you drop a like down below? Maybe even a comment. Or better yet, check out one of these two videos I have right here. And very importantly, I want to give a shout out to my wonderful, beautiful patrons that are located directly behind me. It means so much that you guys support me. I appreciate it more than you know. And that's what it for me. I'll see you guys in the next one.